Hey there, this is Dr. Rishi from the Learners Academy. Today, we are going to talk about the trigonometric ratios once more. This is the third video in our series of videos on trigonometry. Today, we are going to talk about a special, um, special relations of trigonometric ratios with each other. We are going to talk about the trigonometric ratios of complementary angles. Before we go ahead, let us uh, revise what we had done in the previous classes. So we have six trigonometric ratios, sine, cos, tan, cot, sec, cosec, and they are related to each other. Today we are going to see how they are related when we talk about complementary angles. So before we go ahead, let us talk about what complementary angles are. If we have two angles and their addition is equal to 90 degrees, then we would be calling them complementary angles. This does make a lot of sense because we are talking about trigonometry and trigonometry is based on right angle triangles. So if I have a triangle ABC like this, where angle B a is a right angle triangle then obviously angle A and angle C are going to be complementary to each other meaning angle A plus angle C is going to be equal to 90 degrees. This relationship between the two angles gives rise to a special relationship between their trigonometric ratios. Today we are going to see what those relations are going to be. This topic is still there in standard 10th for state board and ICSC. This topic has been taken out by CBSC. However, we do need this topic as a basis when we study trigonometry in our 11th standard. Although this topic is not important for the CBSC students when we consider the board exams, they also need to know this particular topic because we are going to have it when we go for our 11th standard. Now, let us consider this particular triangle ABC. Here, angle A, we will call it as alpha or let us call angle A as theta and angle B as alpha. Alpha again is a Greek letter just like theta. Now, I have used two different markers to write alpha and theta because for alpha, the adjacent side and the opposite sides are going to be opposite or different. And for uh, theta, the adjacent and the opposite sides are going to be different. So let me write them in the respective colors. So uh, for theta, which is black in color, uh, AB would be the adjacent side and BC will be the opposite side and AC is going to be hypotenuse for both of them. Now for angle alpha, AB will be the opposite side and BC will be the adjacent side. Now let us see how these ratios are going to change. So if let me first write sine theta. So sine theta is uh, opposite side upon uh, hypotenuse. So that would be BC upon AC. However, BC upon AC for alpha is the adjacent side upon hypotenuse. Then by definition, for alpha, this ratio is going to be equal to cos alpha. Or I can say that sine theta is equal to cos of 90 minus theta because my alpha, as we have discussed previously, is equal to 90 minus theta. Similarly, 
I can write cos theta. Cos theta would be AB upon AC. But with respect to alpha, it is going to be the opposite side upon hypotenuse. So that would be sin alpha or we can say that it is sine of 90 minus theta. Then uh, we can have tan theta. So tan theta will be BC upon AB and it is going to be equal to with uh, reference to alpha it is going to be equal to the adjacent side upon the opposite side which would be cot alpha or we can say that it is cot 90 minus theta same way we can do it with cot theta it's going to be equal to AB upon BC and uh, this AB upon BC with a reference to uh, with reference to alpha is going to be equal to opposite side upon adjacent side which would be tan alpha therefore making my cot theta equal to tan of 90 minus theta the next thing we have is uh, sec theta so sec theta uh, would be ac upon ab however with reference to alpha it's going to be equal to hypotenuse upon opposite side so that would be equal to cosec alpha or it can be also written as cosec 90 minus theta now we are going to talk about the last ratio that is there that is cosec theta cosec theta is going to be equal to ac upon bc so uh, with reference to alpha is going to be equal to hypotenuse upon the adjacent side which is going to be equal to sec alpha which is going to be equal to sec of 90 minus theta so this is the relationship between the trigonometric ratios and the ratios of their complementary angles we are going we are going to require this theory when we talk about the values of trigonometric ratios of certain angles we would be doing it in the next video now let us take few examples on this now let us consider an example cos 38 degrees times cos 52 degrees minus sin 38 degrees times sin 52 degrees is equal to 0 this is a very interesting example because uh, here the angles are given however their uh, values are not that easy to find now what we have here is we have cos 38 degrees times cos 52 degrees minus sin 38 degrees times sin 52 degrees is equal to 0 now 38 52 it's slightly complicated to find the trigonometric ratios we need to use tables or we need to use calculators however this sum can be solved without using uh, uh, the, the trigonometric tables or calculators so this is how we are going to solve it we are going to convert the ratios in such a way that we get one particular ratio so i can say that cos 38 degrees i keep it as it is and then convert cos 52 degrees into the sine counterpart of it so we get cos 38 degrees multiplied by cos 52 now let's we we, we can make uh, let's let's make convert them into their counterparts and then we can tackle them so we have cos 52 
can be written as sin of 90 minus 52 so that is sin 38 as you can see one part of the second term is taken care of now i have to take care of the other part i can also write sin 52 is equal to cos of 90 minus 52 so that is cos 38 i can replace these two values instead of these two and we will get so these are the two values this value and this value are going to get replaced and i'll get cos 38 degrees times sin 38 degrees minus sin 38 degrees times cos 38 degrees since they are exactly equal their answer is going to be zero this is a pretty easy and straightforward sum that we have let us consider one more example if sec 4a is equal to cosec a minus 20 degrees where 4a is an acute angle then find the value of a now let's try and find this value now as we can see sec 4a is equal to cosec a minus 20 degrees now uh, we know that sec theta is equal to cosec 90 minus theta so i can say sec 4a is equal to cosec 90 minus 4a now if i compare this equation with this equation i can write cosec 90 minus 4a is equal to cosec a minus 20 degrees now since they are cosecs of the same angle and they are equal it we can say 90 minus 4a is equal to a minus 20 or we can say 90 degrees plus 20 is equal to a plus 4a or 110 degrees is equal to 5a or a is equal to 110 degrees upon 5 so that is 22 degrees so this is how we can solve these kind of examples these examples are going to be there in a large quantity in our 11th standard uh, it is the, the though the concept is introduced in 10th it is utilized a lot in the 11th standard and 12th standard particularly in maths and physics so this is all about trigonometric ratios of complementary angles in case you have any doubts please feel free to comment or send those doubts to us so that i can help you out with them do like share and subscribe our channel this was dr rishi from the learners academy thank you